EasyMutt.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. All right, guys, we're back. Running back, Terrell short to the point. If you like to hit the like button, it supports the channel and the video. We have three videos coming out today, as always. And up next, we have the top 10 must-have cards. And after that, we have the top 10 budget cards. So, let's go ahead and get started here at the running back position. Now, McCaffrey here is going to be B tier for his price and his speed. He's pretty good, actually. Uh, he's going to be more of a budget guy. I get it. He is missing ability, so keep that in mind. Stevenson's going to be an overpriced guy, but he can still get the job done. 85 Excel, 85 speed. But trucking, it's going to be good, but let's be honest, he's missing Bulldozer. So between him and a running back that has Bulldozer, it would be a different category. So we're going to keep it moving here, and Williams is going to be right on that same level. These guys are going to be effective without abilities at the B tier. And I feel like Williams fits in that category. Now, moving right along here, we got the bus. He's going to go A tier because he gets Bulldozer, right? He gets an AKA X Factor. Helps a little bit. But even without Bulldozer, he does run people over. Uh, he's heavy. He's big. I like him. Uh, especially in the goal line. He's fun. Go get him. So, with that being said, you got... Well, Harris is going to be just a faster bus, right? He's not going to be good at juke, spinning, nothing like that. And Harris is going to be a guy that can run people over and has the speed run by people. So if you look up and grade your bus, I'm going to go get Harris because of that for sure. Now, we got Walker here. And Walker's going to be right on that budget list that doesn't get no crazy abilities. And I'm going to tell you something. I like him better than Chase because he has 85 break. Chase doesn't. That's a threshold. He breaks more tackles than Chase. Now, if you're just looking for two budget running backs, go get them both. There you go. Uh, they're both going to be pretty good off. All right, guys. And moving on here, we have Wilson. Wilson's going to be a little overpriced. He doesn't have jukebox or bulldozer. Nothing crazy. Uh, is he fast enough? Yeah. Uh, but just remember... He's not going to be a well-rounded back, and I don't like his catching very much. And, guys, if there's any running backs on this list that I don't have on the list, because they're not really relevant anymore, but if there's a question about a card, let me know down below. I'll help you out. I'll let you know what I think. And, yeah, Johnson's going to fall right in the category there with no abilities, and he's going to have a good speed, good break tackle. He's good enough to use in a way, especially on a theme team, I would say. And then... You do have Walter. Walter's going to give you a similar results here. I think he's a little bit pricey. You can get Walter and get get rid of this Walter and go get Walker. Too many W's there. And you'll get just about the same value. He has 85 break tackle. Walker does. And he has good speed. I really like him as a budget beast. Now, you do have Swift here. He's going to give you a jukebox. And so he's going to be A-tier. He's going to be way better a step above like the other budget running backs. Walter, Chase. And the other McCaffrey. So, with that being said, you got to put Brett Taylor here because he has jukebox as well. He's one of the cheaper cards to give you jukebox. Probably is the cheapest card. So, if you're looking for somebody just to give you jukebox is cheap, go get Brett Taylor. But he's going to be a little bit on the slow side now. He did come out earlier in the year, so keep that in mind. And you have Walter Payton. He's going to give you a jukebox, human joystick. So he's going to give you a couple other things. So yes, he is going to be A tier. And then you have CMC. Depending, if you need somebody to catch the ball in the backfield, then go get CMC over Walter. If not, I like Walter better as a runner. Just he feels like he breaks more tackles. He feels a little stronger. But at the same time, Walter and CMC cannot drop. Keep that in mind. If you're looking for a power back, both of them are going to let you down. And if you need a power back with Harris, Harris is going to let you down the juke and the spin. So... You have Swift, he's going to let you down with what? Trucking and break tackle. Fred Taylor's going to let you down with trucking, break tackle, and speed. So Bo Jackson is going to be S here because he has trucking, break tackle, speed, jukebox. He has everything. Bo Jackson's the best running back. He's an S here. He's by himself. And I really think that's who you should spend your coins on. You can sell pieces of your team. Go get Bo. You're going to be happy. Uh, Bo's is well-rounded, guys. Just want to just point it out to say, I'm not going to sit here and waste your time anymore longer. So... 
Hit the like button and don't waste your time. Subscribe if you're new. Up next, top 10 budget beats at their at. Top 10 must have. I'll see you in the next video.